Hey guys, so in this exercise, we're going to start to work with sound audio. So in the first couple of exercise, we can import a number of external sound files such as the M4V, I'm sorry, M4A or the MP3 into Touch Designer for experiment. So first of all, let's create the project folder. So we name it at PlaySong001 and we name this and we check the audio checkbox that means we're going to create an audio folder in order to contain the external audio file around here okay so we tidy up the desktop and then start looking for our file so I have a number of sound loop so I just copy one of them and put it into the audio folder and then from the audio folder we can just drag and then drop it onto the project and the one we drop over here will turn into an audio file in that point to that M4A audio file and then that will play automatically sequentially from start to beginning and then loop because of the repeat is on over here so but we cannot actually hear the sound yet until we try to find another one from the CHOP and in CHOP the first column that with the name start with audio so you can find there are a number of them over here so the one we have just used here is the audio file in and in order to use or to listen to the sound we need to have the audio device out which is something like the sound card from your computer system and you can just drag this one and then connect it to the first input so that will give you the sound so let me turn down the volume a little bit okay so that's it this is the very simple way to play back a sound file in touch designer but in touch designer usually we would like to for example have a look of the sound visually and if you zoom in you can actually see the waveform of the sound file playing and also send it to the sound card for for display as i should say and to visualize the sound there's multiple way to do so so we start with the first one that we try to visualize the volume of the sound so again we go to the chop to select something called analyze and we can connect the sound to the analyze which is something like sampling the the current current signal that we're paying back and in order to have a positive value that kind of reflecting the intensity of the sound we might choose the function like the rms power so rms stand for the root mean square so the signal will be squared and then add together and then take the square root so even essentially that will convert into a positive number that representing the the, the energy of the file that we are playing okay so we now have these two number referring to the volume of the channel 1 and channel 2 and then we can do a math if we want to so the reason to do a math is we might want to change the value of the two channel to scale it up or scale it down because the value over here is are actually quite small you can see okay so to make it 
visible so we going to use the top for example like a circle and you can like change the color of the circle and then we change it to the final resolution that we usually have 1280 by 720 and we might also want to make the circle a little bit smaller okay and our intention is to use this sound volume information to change the size of the circle so we're going to do a transform and then eventually we're going to modify the scale in x and y of this circle so that after the transformation we will display the circle in the output window so the step is pretty straightforward we can turn on the viewer active for the mask and then drag channel 1 for example to the scale in the x direction and drag channel 2 to the scale in the y direction so now we have something like this and if you want to make change to the mask so make sure you, you disable that we were active and then we go to the multiplication and add to multiply for example instead of one so we have two so now we have a bigger circle because we multiply the original number of channel one and channel two by two so that will be the first exercise so as usual you can go out of the project one to the perform window to change full screen and without a border so I turn on the volume so that's it this is the sound responsive graphic that visualize the volume of this drum loop